Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tracy and it's a little bit cool today. It's a little bit cool, but the sun is out. It's so gorgeous outside you guys. So I have my patio door wide open, hence the hat inside because um, it's just a little bit cool, but I don't want to close the patio door because I'm loving the breeze before winter hits. So today I went to Target because I had so many things I needed to get. I needed to get a Christmas gift, a couple of Christmas gifts, and I needed a plunger. <laughs> I needed a plunger and like some cleaning supplies and just a lot of little things. And I'm just at a place in my life where if I can just go to one store, I only want to go to one store. I do not like Walmart. I can only go to Walmart with Cousin Paula. Which is not really a good thing, but it's the only way I can be calm enough to get through Walmart because I just don't like it. But anyway, I went to Target. My budget for everything, including food, Christmas Christmas gifts, house supplies, everything was $125. And I ended up spending $126.44 because I used my red dot card, which is just connected to my debit account. Um, it was like... $133, but it trickled down with the 5%. So I love doing that. I also took out my own bag. So Target will give you 5 cent back if you bring your own bag. So I did that as well today. So I saved just a little bit of money, which is always good. I got every single thing on my list, you guys, for their 126. So I'm very, very happy. I only got a very few foods from there because I had some stuff here but it's some things that I needed and this week is going to be a convenience week for me I'll tell you about that so let's just jump in I'm going to show you what we got from Target as far as groceries are concerned I'm not showing you all that other stuff because I know you don't care so like I said this week is all about convenience for me so I got me two Amy's frozen meals these just happen to be my two favorite ones they are both vegan and I do really like these. They do have nuts in them. Uh, both of them have cashews in them. So if you have a nut allergy, be very careful. This one, I really, really, really like a lot. I'm going to try to figure out how to make this cashew cream sauce because it's so good. I'm pretty sure it's kind of similar to what I make as far as like my vegan version of sour cream is because I use cashews for that. So I'll have to play around with that recipe a little bit, little bit to see if I can create this. And I have some peas and some broccoli in the freezer so i'll add extra peas and extra broccoli to both of these i'll just go ahead and make them at the beginning of the week and separate them in bowls and have those um, with these so these are either be for lunch or for dinner don't yet know yet doesn't really matter um but for breakfast i have one yogurt at work one yogurt here in my refrigerator so i needed two more yogurts so i chose to pick up kite hill yes target has kite hill yogurt you guys this is literally the closest thing to like real yogurt that i remember i adore everything that kite hill kite hill make i haven't had anything bad from them yet so i got the vanilla for my parfait so i want to have this apple cider granola this week i did read the ingredients it is a vegan item and i'm gonna have it with these blackberries and these bananas so i'm gonna make a these bananas will be later in the week because they ain't ready but that'll be later in the week so i got these blackberries to go with that then i got trisket and hummus this is taco inspired hummus so one of you guys i think it was is a karen or is a karina oh please forgive me i'm saying that wrong i can see the comment but i can't remember how to print it it's a karina i think it's karina that told me that she really liked the dill and sea salt um triscuit so i got those to try thank you for the recommendation i'm sure i'll like them um but i do have black cracked pepper uh triscuits at work that i'll be eating probably with this i've never tried this taco inspired hummus before so you guys have to let me know if you like it um so that's going to be for snack and then for dinner i'm going to saute this spinach with this tomato some fresh garlic and i'm going to have that as a side dish along with baked sweet potato i already have the baked sweet potato and i'm going to add these turkey cutlets and gravy with them i usually buy these like around thanksgiving time i started it when i was um first vegan 
And you guys, these <laughs> lightly breaded turkey cutlets are so, so good. Previously, I did definitely use the gravy packet because it does have a gravy pack, two gravy packets in here, I believe. But the second time I bought them, I remember the first time I bought them, I just used the gravy here. But the second time, I added this gravy to my own kind of gravy. And it's, you guys, so stinking delicious. I'm not going to make my own gravy this week. But just so you know, that is an option. These are so good. And I think it's going to be really good with like, it's, I'm kind of making like my mini Thanksgiving meal. And we're going to pretend like the spinach is greens. <laughs> but have the baked potato, like sweet potato casserole. And then these turkey colored food gravy. So I will have that this week for either lunch or dinner as well. So this is everything that I got from, oh, and the coffee cream. You guys know, one of you guys, I can't remember anybody's name right now. Please forgive me. It's still... I'm still not ready to be up because it's just 10. I usually don't get up until 10 on Sundays and I have done so much this morning already. <laughs> but anyway, I was telling you guys that I have found a favorite coffee and then one of you guys was like, try the Starbucks. It's always the best. And I was like, I didn't even think of that. Why did I not think of Starbucks coffee? So I got some the other day. Let me show you what I got the other day. I got this one the other day. You guys, this with this. Oh, I've been having some amazing mornings. It's so, so good. But anyway, that is everything I got from Target for my convenience week. All right, guys. So I wanted to let you know that this is my last video for 2018. I have been going back and forth about this, but I sat down yesterday and kind of mapped out December to see what it's going to look like. And of course, it rolls right into January, which is when I have to travel for my job. So today is Sunday. I'm going <coughs> to, excuse me, not, not edit this video. I'm just going to go ahead and upload it as soon as I finish talking to you guys. Um, so it won't be edited. It'll just be put together. Um, so it's Sunday. Today is Sunday. And Friday of this week, I'm going to Winter Planner Land in Georgia. Lake Lanier, Georgia. I'm so excited to be going to Winter Planner Land. So if any of you guys are going to be there, please come up. Let me squeeze and hug on you and say hi. I'm very excited to be going to my very first planner conference ever. I've gone to planner meetups and never a planner conference. And I, I don't know. I never really share my planner obsession with you guys, but the planner love is real. I am a diehard planner girl. So, um, yeah, I'm going to my very first planner conference. I'm really looking forward to it, mostly because I get to see so many people that I see online, but I have never met before. And I get to spend the weekend with Courtney and Cheryl and Felicia and KP. So I'm very excited about that. And then when I come back from winter planner, like, oh, first, today is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. So typically I don't work on Mondays, but I have to work both jobs tomorrow and both jobs Tuesday in order to be able to be off for winter planner land. Because the conference that we put on at my job is every January, of course, December is crunch time. So I can take vacation time, but they rather I didn't. And since I'm definitely a team player and new to the team i'm not gonna rock the boat i'm going to work my time and then take off when it's um when i've gotten all my hours in and gotten the majority of my work done because last week it was a little bit busy and it's going to be even busier starting monday on so that is why i won't be vlogging tomorrow or any more mondays right now um, when we come back from Winter Planner Land, I have to then start getting Blackberry and myself in my apartment prepared to be off for the days I need to be off for the conference in January. So I have to drive Blackberry to Memphis the day before Christmas. Christmas is on a Tuesday. I have to work that Saturday and Sunday at the evening job and I have to then drive Blackberry to Memphis on Monday, come back around noon on Christmas Day, which is Tuesday, so that I'll be able to go to work on Wednesday and Thursday and on like that. So then on January 1st, I am traveling for work for 10 whole days. I will be in a hotel room living for 10 whole days and working nonstop. So it's not like while I'm working, I'll have a day off. We work from the first day we get there um, 
she said it's kind of like we're going to get there in the afternoon so we can kind of unpack have dinner together as a team and then start on the second we work all the way until the ninth and then we just <laughs> can rest and we're also traveling back on the 10th so in the afternoon so they will have time to pack our room up and get back to nashville when i get back to nashville i then that following weekend have to go back to memphis and pick blackberry up come back get myself ready to go back to work in my second job as well so i made the decision that i am not going to stress myself out about social media in the least um i am going to put my email address below because i'm going to miss you guys terribly not seeing you every week because i did when i wasn't filming videos before when i ghosted on y'all last time but i don't want to do that this time i really want to um let you guys know what's going on so i'm going to put my email address in the description box below so that um if you guys want to say hi then you can i don't have a p.o box right now um it's one of the things i plan on doing in january when i come back from all of this i just you know i told you guys that i wanted um my word for 2019 is balanced i just happen to have been really working hard on it already and so i just I don't want to be overly tired, overwhelmed. I just don't want to add too many more things to my list. Um, I just really need to flow. <laughs> and I got convenience foods this week because yesterday I woke up and I just didn't feel well. And I, no matter what I tried, I just could not. It was like a weight was on my body and I was just tired and i just rested all day long i would get up and i would clean for about 30 minutes and then i would lay back down for like two hours i would get up i would walk blackberry i would eat something i would lay down for like two hours get up clean something take care of blackberry so it was just i guess it probably was around one o'clock when i realized that i just simply needed to rest and so this morning i have been up and busy and i feel a lot better um, I, I think the only thing that was truly wrong with me is that I was honestly tired and so that's just where I am with that I'm just I'm going to start taking um, listening to my body more and start taking more cues for myself and rest when I need to and so it has really been on my heart and soul that I just need to um, take a social media break honestly you guys I probably won't be back until February just to be honest based on everything I just told you and how I know that I'm going to need to rest throughout everything I probably just won't be back to February which is two months is why I'm putting my email address in the description box below so if you want to say hi you can say hi but anyway i love you guys so much i really hope that you have the most amazing holidays hope you get to see your family i am going to memphis so i'll be able to see some of my family not everyone but i'll definitely be able to see cousin paula and my sister like those are the two people that i really 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 want to see my mom and dad too but cousin paula and my sister <laughs> So, I love you guys so much. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. I love you, and I will see you later. Bye, beautiful.